Attention gamers. Pre All right, this is the last episode, episode number 13. We're at Hardcore WoW Journey to 60. Lucky number 13. Previously on my hardcore see if he does wow journey that. to 60, I reached a level that only 3% of players get to without dying, yep. which left me feeling lonely. So I simped for a thick chick NPC that was mid at best who led me on and left me feeling inferior. Mid at Wait best. Wait until you are a bit stronger. So I sought out to prove my manly hood Let's by go, slaying baby. bald sunburnt diabetics bossing around horde players and drinking tomato soup out of the deadliest cauldrons on the continent with some close calls. Tragedy Campbell's, then struck our guild as our best player, my rival slash dad died, and the world was now relying on me to avenge him. Episode 13. It turns out these zombie Full abusers circle. aren't just walking around, and there's a series of sweaty, sexless steps that a level 60 has to do <laughs> just to summon one. So my plans to get myself and others killed would have to wait until later, as I had other things to do first, like film my music video to promote. He would never kill himself, pads. by the way. In game. Ooh. This one's for all the dead homies out there going again. Rav the rapper, oh, bacon beats. You just died for the seventh time in Hillsbrad. You could blame Miz, but you know you just need a new mouse pad. But the market's just <laughs> with trash quality you would vendor. So I made my own. It's best for every race, class, and gender. Oh, the hell yeah. So fine with my very famous swine. The material is imperial. It's sick like bacterial. My art supports artists. None of them. Oh, hell shit. yeah. After all, they work the hardest. They deserve to get is their split. Now to those who've asked how to support me as a streamer. The best way is to rub your mouse on Stitch's femur. You'll never need an upgrade because this shit is overpowered. And now each and every one of you can slash Pat Howard. This type of quality will sell fast, no doubt. It's Dude, that's actually so sick. Before they're sold out. And for the few remaining League of Legends users, I added one design for you hard stuck losers. <laughs> Listen, I am a fucking League of Legends loser as well, but look at look at what mouse pad I'm rocking here. I'll show you guys what mouse pad I'm rocking. Look at this. We got the Teemo, baby! We got the Teemo mouse pad, you know what I'm saying? Does this, do I look like a Teemo player to you? Do I look like a Teemo player to you, huh? So, Rav, if you're seeing this, man, I got a League of Legends mouse pad, baby. I got the Project Jin mouse pad, oh yeah. Although, if I did not have a mouse pad, I would buy the War of Warcraft Rav one if I didn't have one. Looks like you'd use a new one. And maybe when I, uh, maybe when I uh, make some more subs. What's that sound? As I got closer to level 60, some events in my past started to come full circle. <laughs> Turns out testing every soup kitchen in the Plaguelands had me walking around like Goldilocks was my bitch and there was no such thing as a pot I wasn't gonna risk my life to drink out of, but yep. it turns out these man-bear pigs have a social aggro range on par with Taylor Swift, so I had to take them out Rav the Rapper style. Oh yeah, dude. He's actually doing big damage, too. I then had to visit my bitch of an internet GF that used me in the past so I gave the hoe some of my mystery goo which to no surprise made her want me as she promised she would change if I did one last thing for her. Which turned out to be another one of these where's fucking Waldo Golden Goose chases yep. through Carmen Sandiego's taint escort quest but unlike my failures in the basin of Arathi, I actually <laughs> found the male men this time. And while I told her some bullshit That's classic about quest how for I you. took them out for her, I actually made a deal with them behind her back so that the next time she starts her breakup speech, I do think it's best that we put a stop to it before it gets out of hand. Her heart will be the one that's literally broken you, ha ha ha. Until those albino pigs pussied exactly. out at the last minute. They actually don't attack Anyways, her. Anyways, one of Shrek's turds with too much makeup on told me her friend showed her a video about two girls and a cup and now she wants to get back at them oh for not God. being able to eat ice cream out of a martini glass without dry heaving and while I wanted to be oh like my nice God, first dude. world problems. Let me ask you, have you guys watched that video when you were, when you were little? Like, did your friend show you like, hey, I got a funny video for you. Two girls, one cup. And you're like, oh, yeah, what is this? Like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it was a new concept for you. And then you see the next scene, you're like, ugh. And then you see the next scene, you're like, ugh. Needed yeah, the experience, scarred so for I life. Agreed to let my brain rot in a I'm definitely not a scat man, if you know what I'm saying. Be body body boo. 
Dave asking these abominable. Have you seen two guys, one horse? No. Pristine horns actually. And I don't think I want game. to. I got so bored that I let some dementia-ridden Papa Soda fan account talk my head off to pass the time. Until Get six birthdays lane. later, I got the loot. He said this, and Ooh. I deemed it time to outplay that mechanic. I give Shrek's little bastard her gross. <laughs> Wait, did he slash ignore this guy? I slash no sodas pooping. I give Shrek's little bastard her gross. That's hilarious. List, and she was like, "Dank, now prepare for the craziest prank on these fucks you've ever seen." And then I quote, "Come back and tell me what happened." Turns out these reactions were more flaccid than a Viagra addicted dick. And while I was thinking this was hardly <laughs> payback for making this Botox toddler watch two girls one cup, I am not one to yeah. lie. So I told her the reactions were lame, but I said it's okay if she lets her dreams of being a prankster die. At least she can blame eighty percent. Amy Schumer quality <laughs> stuff, dude. Anyways, my guide was now. That's actually good. Abandon my next quest, and I was about to until I saw who would find out if I quit. So for some reason, I felt the urge to not abandon it. Yeah. Turns out the parental controls on rested XP were just looking out for my well-being as a level 59 boss elite with two patrolling butt buddies is just a death clip marinating in dumb decisions. But that bitch <laughs> yeah. Donovan needed to know what she was missing out on. Inventory is <laughs> Dude, that's a and throwback from the first episode. Love letter off dead Captain Cuck Sucks Corpse. Mm -hmm. She act Bring the clearly written log to Donovan Sonness. But yo. Oh, Panzer Fist. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Haven't had much time to hop on late, but I'm always there in your heart. Yo, Panzer. It's always good to see you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, come in here whenever you can. You're always welcome. It's like cheers. You know what I mean? And you're not necessarily Norm, because Norm is always here. You're more like, uh, you're more like Lilith. You know what I mean? Fraser's flame. Like, you come in sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Canucks, he's like Cliff, because he's a loser. So, I'm, you all have your roles, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, easy to be good at, but hard to be chatted at. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. Acting distant with me all this time was because she was seeing someone. His army pulling back from our arrangements to murder her. He used to be Norm. Sense. Now you still Norm. cheating on me, and now I'd finally get my closure. But you're like season seven Norm now. By telling her good luck sucking a dead man's dick, you little thick muppet. Hello. But there comes a time <laughs> in every man's life where it's time to grow up and start acting like an adult. So I decided to spend the next three hours of my mm. life playing hide and go seek with a bunch of people on a video oh, game. Oh yeah! I completely forgot about this! This is the lowest roll is our first seeker. Everyone type it now. Go for it. Rab was Rab actually rolled a Rab two. Too. Oh. I think it's actually Rab. And if you think for a second that Rab the Avatar is- My spot was so good, dude! Seek, I've got news for you. Get out of the room, wherever you are. Oh, 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 <laughs> Dude, that one was actually a pretty good spot. Damn the 362. Super, you're out. Oh, oh my god. You didn't see the other one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go under there and then. <laughs> yeah! He didn't point at him, but he got him. Big booty boy. Too easy with the names? Yeah. Where they disabled those names. Oh my god! And it only showed if you clicked on it. <laughs> that was me, dude! Uh, Rav has been seeking for two minutes now. That was Poland's spot. He was the one who won. That was actually the best spot right there. Yes, I found 40 people in under three minutes. They were so impressed that someone even gave me 50 gold by the end. And just to show how hard this was, Annie was taking Holy so long shit. as the seeker in round two Papa Soda had to say this. 
We're gonna have to somehow speed this up because we are cutting into the scavenger hunt time in this point. But in her defense, it's because I was just as much of a giga chat on the hiding side as I went nuts exactly. to bust pixel orgy with my doppelganger NPC to the Dude, point that was actually was super smart. One and it's just typical classic WoW code at work, but I also had Howard playing mind games with her. Now, that's... Wait, is that Howard? Is yeah, Howard? Howard? That Howard. That's a Bowser. That... Howard, that's Howard. <laughs> <laughs> that's Howard. Oh. Howard, you're out. <laughs> Howard, <laughs> dismiss, dismiss Howard. And when she went inside, she clearly didn't find me because all she would see is this. Dude, it was such a genius. Oh, I mean, Howard, called, you're going to have to tell me True. who is your owner. Just sniff in that direction. Oh, this way? He oh. disappeared. What? He disappeared. Howard was never real. <laughs> People are doing sniff. <laughs> oh, he's it's invisible. Pulse gets a little LSD the entire time. Just so you know. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Oh, oh shit. Howard. Getting About warmer. Howard's, Howard's, killing Howard's stuff back. Too. Dude, the spots in this place were actually super good. I was one of only two people <clears> left, <throat> and even though my Howard Mind games would lead her right to me, I was perfectly hidden until this NPC decided to take his first fucking steps in the history of his existence just to blow my cover. Oh. Bruh. Uh. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> no way. Wait. You gotta click him. Yeah, I'm trying. Who is it? Get something. Who do you think? It has to be right. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Click <laughs> off of him. Oh, oh my god. He's abusing hitboxes. Oh, you had him. You had him. Who was it? You got it. You got it. Who was that? That guy. Oh. Grab your It eyes. actually was Grab, dude. <laughs> Crazy. That was good. Damn. Such a good oh, fucking. Uh, yeah. Such a good spot, Thank though. You. <laughs> it's really nice to be a good boy. As you were walking up there, Rab was like, don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. <laughs> Alright, oh, is he gonna do death class? No fucking way, dude. This is the one quest I refuse to do my warrior. Now you're probably wondering how I got or my here. Rogue. You see, I learned that the original hardcore add-on has a bunch yeah, of challenges where you have to defeat certain bosses or add -on. quests before certain levels to not just beat hardcore, but obtain big dick status, and there are apparently only two that stud muffins like myself are required to do before 60. The first one I unknowingly accomplished when I killed the polar bear pegging my XGF, which left just death class. The final, the final achievement one. in hardcore that kills many level 59s trying to achieve such a feat. So yeah. I was going to do it, but as I missed the old one. Nice uses the dynamite split pull. This big bug and his five head pull exactly. What's up, Kato? His little honey hive and those simps. Then you are probably thinking I just kited him with Cheetah all the way to town, where I would make some underappreciated city guard do my hardcore achievement for me. But I'm the avatar, so I chose to naked RP walk instead. Until those pincers got way too close to my puckered ass cheek, so I tanked Howard into <laughs> Dude, giving me a he's playing with fire here. I learned my lesson and will just <clears throat> kill him off, but who would I be if it weren't for soloing the most deadly hardcore achievement with my scrotum flailing in the wind RP walking away from a boss that can one-shot me so I generously let him clear his bucket list item of making a short new dwarf jump just before passing away and with that, all the challenges I needed to accomplish before 60 were over yeah. there was only one more thing w. on my mind. Avenging Ampy's death. Resist. <clears throat> <gasps> Damn, that was a My research on avenging this death consisted of me asking a random gear to the tits hunter how I can make big fire boy spawn much. to which she wrote me an entire PhD dissertation to which I was like, hey, let's test run this bitch to if it goes bad, we abort. Yep, I believe in you. I'm proud of you. Let's do it. Agreed. Like my father never was. <laughs> Together, but I clearly didn't know what I was dealing with. Oh, man, dude. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright. Kiting him out. Kiting him out. He's got the flame, dude. Date! Oh! Oh, that's the other hunter! <gasps> okay, he took a lot of damage, but it's okay. Nice, feign death, reset. Holy shit, that's actually scary as fuck. Drag him. Howard can die, that's fine. Just don't let the other one die, right? So after almost getting another player killed, I realized some battles are not meant <clears throat> to grab the avatar, and Ompi's death wasn't mine to avenge. Without Ompi himself by my side, Amphi, he went again. So with one kill away from level six, we sought out to make history. 
It's time to master that mess with me. And so Amphi got his revenge. Holy shit. What? Oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is a fucking, uh oh bro. Oh no. They're going together, baby. Dude, that's fucking we sick, We got a Geomancer dude. in the mix. This is exactly what happened to Hunter Dad. Exactly. Except for he didn't have Howard! Dude, fucking sick, dude. Look at the guild chat go. And some may say this was a poetic ending to an epic journey. And to that I just want to say, we're just getting started. Hell yeah, man. Ragnaros is coming, baby. Ragnaros is coming. Hell yeah. Buy my mouse pad so you can pet Howard. Link below. Amazing, dude. Yeah, this is kind of like hindsight 2020. Because, like, this was posted two days ago, and this also happened uh, two days ago. Yo, let me see. And hey, it's dude. But he went again. And I think he's going to make it. First, can I get some 07s in the chat for Rav? Yeah, 07s in the chat. Oh, man. Does he need to get the rap? I think he does. But yeah, let me unmute here. I think there's going to be at least, at minimum.